Welcome to According to Pete. Welcome to Maker Faire 2012 in New York. This is Kip Bradford, friend of mine, Brown professor, met you at Sketching and Hardware, and a uh, cool guy. Not as cool as Pete. Pete is the coolest. How's, how's the thing going for you so far? It's pretty awesome. This is definitely turning into one of the better fairs. If you say welcome, I say to World Maker Faire yeah. New York 2012. I could, I Spelling out a long word, he writes the whole <laughs> word. So here we are with uh, Phil and Lamore from Hello. Adafruit. And Pete. Hello. So yeah, we, what we want to do this video to show you is we have a coloring book. Yeah, we're here not showing uh, electronics this year. We, we don't do have stuff. a booth. We don't have a booth, not we showing any new products. We wanted to be attendees to get good ideas, meet all the makers who use all of our stuff. This year, we're debuting this uh, today. Uh, this is this called- This is a hot off the press. Yeah. You hot understand that? Yeah. It actually is. This There's is... a press in New Jersey, and they pressed it, and they yeah. sent it to us, and we got it um, yesterday night, so like- Yeah, so this is called have... Lady A to Z for electronics, and what it is is a coloring book for kids. Uh, this is A for Ampere. This is B for breadboard and has and battery. Lady and, and battery. So C is for capacitor. capacitor. And what it does is it tells the historic background of all these components and also... Uh, e for diode. Uh, Did you know that the diode was called the Kinotron? I did yeah. not. Now you know. Yeah. See, awesome. you're, it's not just for kids. I it's also, some of that junk. It's also for people who have like <laughs> well, engineering degrees. A little bit smarter. Here's today. the thing. We, awesome. we, and this has taken two and a half years because writing for kids is really hard, but we also wrote this for adults, so H is for Hertz. Um, so you can go through this whole coloring book. That's my MOSFET. That's my cat. That's our cat MOSFET. <laughs> but he's, he's it's standing on a multimeter. Yeah. And hanging out with electronics. And this is kind of the first time we've shown this, so you guys get um, uh, a kind of nice. Why is tough? Yeah, so, so we, we have, have to do Y's Yagi. for Yagi. Yagi. Nice. Yeah. I mean, like we we thought really hard. Like, what does Y stand yeah. for? Z Z Z because Zener. So there's yeah. one. Wait, wait, wait. Open. I because I dig the. Uh, the, the, the attire of these guys. Yes, like, he's like, I am an engineer scientist fellow. Yeah. We're actually going to um, do another one, uh, R is for robotics. Ah, yeah. And then okay. we're gonna maybe do a couple more because we actually like had to decide like, oh, like what is yeah. gonna, like, A, is it ampere or accelerometer? Uh, R is for resistor or robot? There's like, one more thing about this. So uh, SparkFun's an open source hardware uh, company. Adafruit's an open source hardware company. And uh, this week we're the heroes of open source yeah, hardware. Yeah, this week. Next week we'll next be week. next week we'll be back to like, oh, you guys use Eagle. Um, but this week <laughs> we're on top. So uh, this is a Creative Commons uh, coloring book. Anyone can download it and uh, print it. Nice. And so um, it's okay if we see a million of these in bookstores in China. It's totally okay because they're going to be coloring electronics and they're going to be coloring historical figures to do electronics. And then this goes with one last effort. This is also this is like world premiere. Um, this is our new Muppet um, called Adabot. And this was designed by a woman named Annie Fresh who does uh, Muppets. She's actually here, she has a booth yeah. here. Yeah, she? she does yeah, yeah, Muppets yeah. on yeah. Sesame Street. And these are all little uh, components that talk and sing. This is Mo the Resistor, Hans the 555, Cappy the Capacitor. And uh, Adabot will show up on uh, Ask an Engineer and on our show and tell. And it'll uh, teach kids, you take the copper trace to the circuit playground and meet Adabot. And there's lots of songs about robotics. So Adabot's this, gonna sing. So this all goes together and uh, it's all part of our learning thing. And we're so. like, we're building like a voice changer so the head does like voice changing. Yeah. So it's like a robot sounding voice. So, you know, I can't do the robot voice because I don't have it, but I'm gonna be singing about how uh, robots are our friends. They can go to Mars. But anyways, that's our new efforts. And uh, you know, companies like SparkFun, companies like Adafruit, we're all doing education stuff. And this is just another thing to help kids get um, interested, you know, spark that interest at a really, early age and so that's what we're working on. We need to on. get them younger and tenderer yeah. so, before they think that robots are like enemies, you know. We want them to think that robots so, are friends. So this is Josh Gordonson. He is part of the MITRES group, uh, MIT Hackerspace. Yep. Um, I met Josh a couple years ago when I came out to visit MIT and do the East Coast kind of tour thing. Um, and he's just telling me about some of uh, his educational design work. You want to describe that again? That yeah. would be awesome. I'm working on this company called Olo Feet. Uh, and we're trying to design the next set of educational uh, tools to, to help teach people how to design circuits. So I'm kind of working on some test equipment kits, uh, power supplies and signal generators, amplifiers, uh, lo function generators, and, and logic analyzers. And uh, we're just kind of trying to teach people the top level design of like smaller components that, uh, get, that like, uh, you chain together to make a larger thing. Um, and then go in detail 
uh, and kind of describe how I chose particular values of you know capacitors or certain stuff like that, so that people can go in, change the design to to make their signal generator power supply meet their needs. So you can change the max voltages, you can change the max frequencies, the min frequencies, stuff like that. Uh, and it's all analog design, so it's all transistor based. Mm. Uh, Midas is dangerous. <laughs> Midas is becoming dangerous, yeah. Okay, so when, when we came to tour, you were pouring um, liquid aluminum yeah, that's into right. a cast. Yeah. Everybody's like, okay, everybody stand back. I remember yeah. Leah riding on the scooter that was a hub motor, and, and she almost plowed into a wall. <laughs> yeah. And so he's like, you want to try it, Pete? No. We had a, a bunch of freshmen a couple years ago come, and basically they are all high voltage enthusiasts. So like they just started building Tesla coils and like all sorts of million volt marks generators and like all sorts of crazy stuff. Gigantic uh, Wimsurst machines, like yeah. like taller than people, like huge. Um, and then they all got into hub motors and quadcopters and all this stuff. So now we have like a whole berth of hub motor based projects. We've got tiny scooters and, uh, and tiny uh, go-karts and stuff like that. This is Jessica Ullman from um, Parallax. And she does uh, the equivalent of my job, which is to say uh, director of engineering. How many people do you manage? Uh, I manage three. We've recently split off and had some of our engineers go into strict FAE work for uh, oh, okay. our semiconductor side of the business. How many projects are you typically managing at any given time? Oh, uh, typically around four to seven, depending. I mean, okay. so we're doing, like right now, we're working on um, the Bluetooth board, a new propeller education board. I feel like there's so much more and I always forget. At SparkFun, we, uh, every engineer has between seven and 10 active projects at any yeah. given time. Yeah and it's virtually impossible to manage all that junk. Right. It, especially for me, so I actually had to hand that off to Chris Taylor, yeah. <laughs> um, who now manages that. Thank you, Chris, very much. We tend to focus on more like value add. So I mean, since we're a small team, three. Mm -hmm. And then we, as soon as we have a product ready to go to market, we like to develop educational material or some kind of projects to go with it. And so it's a lot of focus on that. Well thought out. Uh, products and projects right. and material. Right. In the early days, in the early days, <laughs> um, we did a lot more of uh, uh, more more quick to market. Right. Hey, we can get this out. Right. Ow, oh, it's gone. Um, and that makes a lot of people happy, but it makes a lot of people. I find too with better documentation, the product just sells better. Oh, absolutely. I mean, especially the applications. Like this is how you get basic data, but this is this cool project that I did, and then. It, way more interesting to people yes. than I, oh, I wow, here's the raw agree. tilt values for this accelerometer. Cool. All right, okay, we did that. We do that too. We do that too. But then we say <laughs> this is the accelerometer on an RC car, and then it's like, oh, that's uh, how you no, use it. That's it. how okay. you use this raw data. So yeah. I love people who are asking like, well, how do you process all that data? Like, well, that's math. Right. Uh, <laughs> I gotta look that up. We have sort of maybe uh, erroneously overdepended at times on the the uh, uh, tenacity of, of the customer who wants to do it themselves, right? right? So we'll, we put out stuff like the 6 dot V3 that did nothing but raw data values off of the sensors. But yeah, if we had done the code for that, it would have just taken forever to get it right because it would have just been irritating people left and right. right. But yeah, we are we are big fans of you guys. Yeah. So you guys... That's what we like. We want to be nice, we give things, we make you friends. You emulate that and it's really fantastic. Yeah. So. I'm happy to be involved with you guys. Yeah. So that's it. That was our uh, Maker Fair experience, which has been pretty cool. And there's tons of people here, and they're all wacky and doing weird, witty stuff. So thanks for watching. You can <laughs> keep your questions coming to feedback at sparkfun.com with according to Pete in the subject line, uh, or just post them in the comment section below. And until next time, uh, see ya. Bye. How you doing, Spark Fun? You guys are awesome. <laughs> There you are.